about a week ago, we headed off to the USA Pan factory sale. And if you saw the factory sale video or the cookware show that we just uploaded, you will know that this sale was absolutely fantastic. When I got in there, I lost my mind and I came out with an entire car truck full of bakeware. So no further ado, bakers buckle up because it's time for a haul. We're going to do the USA Pan factory sale bakeware haul. So let's do this. <music> So if you're not familiar with USA Pans, they're a company that is located just outside of Pittsburgh and they make some of the best bakeware ever. And it's sold all over the place. It is sold at Williams-Sonoma, Charlottetown. It's sold on Amazon. It's sold at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's sold at all the good retailers. And some of them have created their own versions of it and some of them have branded it with their own names. Um, whatever I, that I can get Amazon links to, I will put down in the description if you want to take a look at any of this bakeware. So the factory sale is overruns and seconds. So the overruns are just what's left over um, when they have a contract for some bakeware. So there's all kinds of mix of things. And when you go in there, the bakeware is not cleaned. It's like straight off of the machinery. You're buying it amongst the machinery. So it's greasy, it's dirty, it's dusty. Um, some of it has scratches, a few are dented. You just gotta kinda dig through of them. But the prices range anywhere from four bucks to the highest at about 15, 10 or 15 that we saw on some of the more expensive pieces. So what they have is Williams Sonoma Gold Touch, which is my favorite. Um, they have other lines sold at Williams Sonoma. They have a USA Pan line. They had OXO and they had Sherlock Taub. Um, and they had some other branded. I didn't know what the brands were, but um, let me tell you, it was fantastic. Um, a lot of these pieces, like the William Samoma Gold Touch, it'll go from $20 to $30 a piece, and you are getting them anywhere from $5 to $8. So I wasn't the only one that was just standing there with a cart, throw it in, throw it in, right? Because we met some people in line, we were looking at their cards, and they said, I don't know what I got. I just started throwing stuff in, right? The sale was that good. So... Let's get this show on the road, shall we? So these are gonna come just randomly. We washed all this stuff in the dishwasher because some of it had grease and dirt on it. Um, so they're sort of piled up in no random order. So we're gonna start with a couple of cookie sheets. So these are Williams Sonoma Gold Touch. What's interesting about these is these are sort of copper color on the back. They're not um, copper. So I have a couple of these already, and I'm gonna tell you these, you know, you probably paid 22 bucks or more a piece from these, and I think they were six. So this one has the gold on the back that is uh, on this one. Some reason, these are just stacked in like, you know, shoulder high piles. So I just got what I could get. Here's another one. This is also the copper on the back. Amazing, right? This is a little um, rectangular mini cake pan. This is a USA pan branded uh, pan. Look at that. Fantastic. I think I paid five for these. So I got two of these. And I'm gonna tell you, these are probably $23 a piece. So I paid 10 for two of them. 
amazing deal, right? Here's a USA pan, a mini muffin pan. So we saw these and Eric was like, what is that? And they had it marked White Castle pans. So you can pretty much put buns in here and build little sliders or little slider sandwiches and cover them in butter and bake them. So that's what these are. They called them White Castle uh, pans. So I got two of those. So these are standard 13 by nine baking pans. Um, this one was obviously a second because there's a little bit of a strange scratch right there, but that's okay. Um, I got two of these. This is amazing. I think I paid five each for those. So these are um, gold touch cake pans. I got two of those. I got more of these somewhere in the pile. So these are loaf pans, but so you can use them as loaf pans, just like this. They're large loaf pans, long. Awesome, right? But you can also use them as Pullman loaves. So if you've ever seen like Texas toast bread where they're square, that's what you use this for. So when you put your bread in there and you put this on the top, it prevents your loaf from getting that uh, rise on the top so it stays square. I got two of those. Okay, so I didn't realize that I got this much gold, so I'm really happy about that. So this is one of my pieces of the day. Um, I bought one of these recently at the outlet store. I think these run about $45 in the store. Um, and I got this for 10, so I'm really pleased. This is the Gold Touch um, No Leak uh, Springform Pan. And it has silicone in here. These are fantastic. We did a cheesecake in one of these. I'll put a link down in the description, but I love this thing, so. Hmm. Happy to have that. Ah, so we have some smaller cake pans here. I think these are six inch um, cake pans. So these are, we got four of these. So I think I paid four bucks a piece for these. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, here's another cake pan, random cake pan. I think I got three of these total. So that's the third one. Um, I got some Gold Touch pie pans. Not sure if I'm gonna use these. Well, I can make a pie in these, but you can put, you can do anything in one of these. Throw some chicken breast in there, throw them in the oven. These things are great. So these are the Gold Touch pie pans. I believe I paid four bucks a piece for these. And I think these are like $14.95, $15.95, something like that in the store. So I got a pair of these quarter sheet pans. I love these. Um, I have a couple already and I picked up some more. They were four bucks a piece and I certainly paid way more for that um, at the store. Ooh, some loaf pans. So I needed loaf pans big time and I love these, uh, the gold touch because I don't have to, uh, Grease these or anything, the bread just pops right out. So I got two of these larger ones. These are great for like two pound loaves. And I got some of these smaller ones that are good for like one and a half to one, one, one to one and a half pound loaves. So I got three of those and two of these. Amazing, I think I paid four bucks a piece for these. I thought these loaf pans were kind of interesting because they have this lip on them, so it makes them easier to get them in and out of the oven. These are a USA Pan brand, and they have this here. I thought this might be really great for doing a meatloaf thing because I love turkey meatloaf, and um, you can do all kinds of stuff in this. But I like the fact that they had these lip on them, so I got those.
So these are kind of funny because I wanted some of these uh, six cup muffin cups, muffin pans. <laughs> and I went by them and I picked up three. And apparently when I went by again, I picked up three again, not remembering that I'd already picked up three. So I ended up with six of them. Um, I think I only paid a couple bucks for them, so it's like no big deal. I use these all the time. And um, so I ended up with six of those. And the last thing in this grouping is the standard um, square baker. These are great cakes. Um, everything you can make in these. These are fantastic. These are like the loaf pans, the cake pans, and these are like the prize pieces. And I scored with these. I think I paid like four or five bucks for these. So yeah, amazing. Eric says this is a calm before the storm. So we'll see. <laughs> Here's another cake pan. Wow, I just went crazy with the cake pans, right? Um, these are like little six inch cake pans. So I've never seen these. These are gold touch. And a lot of people have said, when are you going to make six inch cake pans? And they never brought them out and finally they're here, right? So I got four of them. I think they were four bucks a piece or something. I don't remember. Um, I also got in that note, I got these mini, uh, these mini spring form pans. You just take the bottom out. These are great for um, mini cheesecakes, mini, mini everything. Pot pies. Pot pies. All kinds of fun stuff. So we got four of those. Mm -hmm. So these are lasagna pans. And recently someone asked me about what I make my lasagnas in. A lot of times I did it in just a general... Uh, 13 by nine, but these are made for lasagnas because they're deeper. So I went crazy with these, if you saw in the video. This is a USA pan lasagna. Um, wow. And then I got two gold touch lasagna pans. I figured since they were so cheap, what the heck, right? Because I think these are about 20 some, $25 a piece. So just these pans right here, would be $75 just for these three. So I'm so happy to have these. Um, so here I have a pair of USA pan pizza pans. Awesome. And then I got some of these. These are interesting. They're at an angle. So I'm assuming if you put a pizza on there, it's easier to slide the pizza out. Um, you can use these for cookies. They're not a standard cookie sheet size. I don't know what size they are, but I thought they were neat, so I got them, and I'll look them up maybe online to see what they actually are. Um, so I got three of those, and then I got two of these, like, flat cookie sheets, the same size as those, but these don't have that tilt to them like these do. Um, these are just flat plain cookie sheets, um, which cookie sheets are a little different than jelly roll pans. A lot of times you see people use sheet pans or jelly roll pans. Cookie sheets only have a lip on one side, so the air can circulate a little better than in uh, like a jelly roll pan. So I got two of those. Okay, so this is the final wave, and um, they're piling up over here. So. Uh, let's start right here. This is a classic gold touch muffin pan. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, these pans make mandolins. I think that's what they're called. Mandolins, something like that. They're little shell shaped cookies. This is one of the pans that I wanted when we were going there. I wanted to get one of these. And I think they were like five bucks, something like that. So I got two of them. Is that one of Sherlock Tob and this one's a USA? Yeah, this one's branded Sherlock Tob. This one's branded USA pans, but they're exactly the same. So, <laughs> hey, right? I don't mind. 
Um, these are a few more quarter sheet pans. These are USA pan. Um, the other ones were gold touch. The difference is these have the um, ridges, but I put parchment paper on here. So these are so slick. It's hard to even stack them because they just slide around on each other and fall all over the place. Oh, apparently I got three of these because here's another one. <laughs> So, sheet pans, our classic sheet pans. I got four of them. William Sonoma Gold. These are 23, 25 bucks a piece. I think, I'm not sure, at the store. Um, so, these are great. I love these. I use them all the time. I have a couple. And since they were six bucks, I grabbed four of these babies. <laughs> Four gold touch sheet pans. Can you believe four. it? Four. Like 20 bucks. Why don't you grab 10? I know. There, I saw people going out with stacks of sheet pans like this. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple gold touch pizza pans. We got some other pizza pans, but I saw these and I was like, I'm getting those. These are interesting. They make little cakes shaped like this. I can't wait to try to make these because when I make these cakes and frost them, they're going to be like little individual cakes. I just can't wait to try these out. I think I got two of these. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, here's the other one. So I thought this muffin pan was kind of interesting because it's shallow in here and then goes out. I'm not sure the type of muffin that's made in this kind of pan. Whoops. But it's an interesting shape than a classic muffin pan. So I grabbed it. And I also grabbed two six jumbo muffins from USA Pans. So I got two of those. And I got another, this is a standard muffin to go along with that one over there, Gold Touch. So bakers, this is some serious. William Sonoma Gold Touch, Shola Tom, and USA Pan Hall. Um, I've never seen this much Gold Touch uh, in one spot before. Um, it's absolutely my favorite cookware or bakeware from USA Pan. Gold Touch is, but the USA Pan brand, I believe, is just as good. So um, I am over the moon about what I got and shocked. I'm literally, I'm just standing here like, Oh my gosh, right. If you ever have the opportunity to be in Pittsburgh when the USA Pan Factory is having their sale, I completely and totally recommend it. Um, just be aware that you need to bring, wear good shoes. You need to um, um, put away everything you think about sales and just go for it, right? Because the prices are amazing and you will be chucking stuff in your basket like you would not believe. And, um, because obviously I did. Um, <laughs> um, we had a great time and I'm looking forward to trying all of this out. Uh, if you, I'll leave links in the description to whatever I can from this haul and from the previous haul. I'll also link down the cookware haul and also our um, trip to the store. So, amazing, right? So bakers, um, we got some serious bakeware to use in, for 2020, right? So if you like this video, please stop by my um, Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. Uh, we'll be talking about all kinds of stuff for the holidays, for cooking, and beyond, right? Also, visit my website, amylearnstocook.com, and I'm on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook, and on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. Um, go Bakers!